Man, if someone steals my phone, I'm gonna turn to the Flash. I'm gonna start chasing them down. I'm gonna start like, nah, you ain't taking my phone. You know. Don't ever do that. Don't yeah. mm. Mm. Okay. 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 Mm. Mm. It's us. Here's my take on on Brazil and the safety. I felt very safe in Brazil, even in Rio de Janeiro. Like I remember before I got there, people were saying, oh, you can't walk in Rio at night. And I don't recommend you guys walk Rio at night. Don't do that. Don't be like me and do that. I did it. I walked there at night. Yeah. So I walked in Copacabana, which can be sketchy. Um, Ipanema and a little bit of Leblon at night. By, well, not, not by myself, with my friend Chris. Mm -hmm. And we both would be walking together. And we're two big guys, you know, because yeah. I don't think anyone's going to mess with us. Yeah. But I would always have my phone out like that, and I would be like paranoid. I'm like, is someone gonna take my phone? You know? Were you holding your phone? Yeah, because uh, I'm a vlogger. I do vlogs. Oh. So I wanted to vlog about Brazil, but I was scared someone's gonna snatch my phone because um, I, I follow this page on Instagram called uh, Alert Zona Sul. Alô Zona Sul? Sí. Legal. <laughs> See, so I follow them, and they show so many people getting their phones robbed. Yeah. And I was like, man, if someone steals my phone, I'm gonna turn to the flash. I'm gonna start chasing them down. I'm gonna start like, nah, you ain't taking my phone. You know? Don't ever do that. Don't. <laughs> let it go. <laughs> Just let it go. Let it go. Let it let go. Let yeah, it go. that's what one of the girls did. The guy took her phone and she was just there like, like so yeah. surprised. She, the thing about Brazil, ladies and gentlemen, is I don't think it's dangerous in the sense that people are, are gonna be out to get you and try to shoot you and try to do all that stuff like how they do new york city for example where if you're in the bronx or in a, in a very bad area in new york mm -hmm. they could target you they could be like all right let's shoot them up just because you know in brazil yeah. that doesn't really happen i didn't really no. experience that or heard any no. of that i no. feel like it's targeted so if they want to shoot you it's targeted it's it's a target so it's a person all right he did something so i'm gonna go after him you know mm -hmm. it's not random but mm -hmm. another thing is ladies and gentlemen the the high the biggest popular crime in in brazil in rio is is theft theft yeah. of phones because yeah. phones are so expensive and in brazil yeah. like you go to the apple store and the phone is like two three times the amount that you would get it here mm -hmm. in america because mm -hmm. of the import tax so that's why phones are so like um they're they're a prize commodity or whatever you want to call it in brazil yeah. and that's why people try to steal phones is because it's so expensive to get it and and they could probably sell it make good money you is know pay the sell? rent mm -hmm. what are you gonna say though camila it's easy to sell they steal people's phones and then they sell it um especially and i used to work in this place in back in rio uruguayana they sell stolen phones and people buy it very cheap it's very cheap so I guess they won't stop stealing anyways because people are buying the stolen phones. But one thing about, um, I've never been stolen. I was born in Rio, I was raised there. Knock on wood. For almost 25, 28 years there. And I was never robbed. That is something that I get a lot of um, pride and see. But, but who can ever pick on you, Camilla? Like if I saw you in the street, if I was a thief, right? If I was a bad person, I saw you in the street, I'm like, why would I want to like rob her? Stop. She's so sweet. <laughs> I'll feel bad if I robbed you. It never happened to me, really. I guess <laughs> I got lucky. I guess I got lucky. But if it does, do not try and chase and get your phone back because it's better to lose your phone than to lose your life. You yeah, don't lose be like me. Guys. To react. <laughs> did, did I tell you, Camila? So, Camila, um, so I had an incident that happened to me, ladies and gentlemen. I told Camila about it briefly, and I did make a video about it about how i almost got robbed in rio de janeiro and it isn't what you guys think where someone took my phone or anything it was more of digital where i was in copacabana beach i was hung over because i had too many no, not hung over i was drunk because you didn't I had tell me about <laughs> huh? hung over you didn't tell me about that about the oh, no, i was hung over because that it was midday so they're having hap they're having a happy hour specials <laughs> so they had happy hour and i took advantage of it I was like, si, sí, dame más caperiña, caperiña, yes. Morango, eh, fresa. Oh, no, no, it's morango, morango, strawberry. Morango, abacaxi, maracujá. Si, sí, toda. Abacaxi, no, morango, maracujá. Mucho yeah. bem. <laughs> so I'll get all the flavors and everything. Because I, I started getting tired of lime, of, of, of limón. Limón. Because. Tradicional. 
I got tired of it and it made me sick to smell it because I got so drunk off of that that I couldn't have it anymore. You know when you get traumatized by by alcohol? Like, you yeah, can't even have it. Sick, I had so much lime caperinas, I couldn't have another one. I was like, no, it's going to make me sick if I have another one. So I had, I had to switch it up. So I got morango. I got, oh, man, it was fantastic. Um, so I, I, I got drunk, right? And I was in the Copacabana beach, and there was these guys that were there hanging out by the by the bathrooms. Because in Copacabana, the, the bathrooms, you go down the stairs, and then there's the basement, and you do what you got to do there, right? So they're hanging around the bathroom. So I, I'm, I'm a social guy. So I started talking to them. And I told them, guys, like, I'm trying to go to the beach. You guys know where like I can get a chair because I didn't know where to get a chair. And the guy, he was literally sitting on a chair, got up immediately, folded it up and gave it to me. He's like, yo, here you go. Like um, uh, 50, 50 reais. 50 reais, right? 50? Mm-hmm. 50. 50 reais. Which mm-hmm. I thought at the time was a good deal. I'm like, all right, like 50 reais is not too bad. Me being a dumb guy. A, a dumb gringo um and so to cut to the chase ladies and gentlemen i got this jersey as well so i got the jersey the chair and a towel because they wanted to throw the towel there for extra money they're like yeah just, we'll give you this for 50 heights too right so i was like all right whatever so i gave them my card and they, they have the card reading machine and they're supposed to what they're supposed to do is type it in they show it to you and then you scan it and that's it right but the guy wasn't doing that for me he was typing it up, being all secretive. And I asked him, I was like, oh, enseñame, enseñame la máquina. Enseñame mm-hmm. la máquina. Show me the machine. I want to see what's going on. And he was like, no, nah, no, nah, don't worry about it, bro. Don't worry about it. And I told him again. He's like, no, 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 don't worry about it. Then finally, after back and forth, he turned it around, but quick. It was like that, right? I was like, bro, come on, man. Like, let me see the amount. Then uh-huh. he showed it, huh? And I yeah. just agreed, just agreed. Oh, okay. And then he turned it around, but he covered most of the number with his thumb. So all, all I saw was a five, but I didn't see the rest of the number. And then I was like, bro, come on, man. You playing games. And, and then his boys, the, there was other guys there and they came in and they started defending him. He's like, oh, bro, don't worry about it, bro. Like, listen, it's 50 hai. No, no. It was um, all together because the, the, the chair was 50 hai. The jersey was 50 hai. The towel was 50 hai. So I think it was 150 heads all together. I think it was, if if my memory is correct. Um. So basically, um, it the card wasn't going through. I was wondering why the card wasn't going through. It kept getting declined, and I was like, I have sufficient funds because my what's the the um the cash app card had a hundred US dollars on it, right? So I did that on purpose so that way in a situation like this they would only rob me for a hundred dollars if they overcharge me you know what i mean Mm -hmm. um so i transferred a hundred dollars at a time to the card so it should have been going through i don't know why i wasn't going through Mm -hmm. um so basically after a while um they got a new machine it went through and they sent me on my way so I, i went to the beach i was on my phone so i started going to my phone i went through my transactions and guess how much money they try to charge me a thousand yeah because you know uh they, know. They, uh, <laughs> they, 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 they charge they try to charge me a thousand usd yeah and it wasn't going it through and then they did 900 800 700 600 500 400 300 200 know. and they stopped after 200 i had a hundred dollars in that card if they would have swiped it one more time it would have robbed me of a hundred dollars but you know what camila the good man upstairs was like, hey, I'm not going to allow you to get robbed. He looked out after me. He protected me. Definitely. And, Definitely. you know, what ended up happening was they got so frustrated by the fact it wasn't going through. They're like, oh, this this gringo is broke. Like, let's just charge him however much we said we we're going to charge him. <laughs> right. So they charged me 150 heights and that's what happened. And I was good. It's still it was a scam. Because it's let me tell you, that chair you sat on, that chair, that chair is 20. It's not 50. I know. That's what I ended up finding out at the beach. Actually, is that the, the, There's I, literally... What were you going to say, Camila? I paid 10. It's not even 20. I paid 10. Last time well, I went th- to the beach. Thank you, thank you for making me feel better about it, Camila. <laughs> <laughs> but I ended up finding out that, that they have tents in the beach that literally serve you everything. So they have 
they, they can get you a chair, a table, yeah. caipirinhas, yeah. chocolate, lo que tú quieras. Anything you want, they'll give it to you there. <laughs> like, you know? Um, ooh, who's this? Bruno, how you doing, Bruno? Bruno me voy, uh, it's my brother, me voy, no? Oh, Bruno. Hola, hola Bruno. Tudo bem, amigo? Como está? Como, como você está? Muito bom. It was great. Yeah, yeah, it was good. I'm it learning because I have the best tutor in the game, you know? Yeah. Uh, <laughs> but, uh, but yeah, ladies and gentlemen, be very careful with those card reading people, right? But otherwise than that, I felt no danger in Brazil. But do you have any other comments about um, safety in Brazil? Safety in Brazil. I guess as long as you are not, <laughs> oh, it sounds so bad, but as long as you're not in the wrong place at the wrong time, you're going to be fine. So avoid certain neighborhoods, certain regions, <clears throat> especially <throat> during the night. Just don't. That's okay. Yeah. Uh, the, I, I need to tell you about my story about Lapa one day, Camila, because it's a very interesting story. Uh, I but, am but... so scared of Lapa. <laughs> I went there at night and I was like, what the hell? I was like, I'm gonna get robbed. What did I get myself into? I know. I went there twice. I almost was robbed. One time I went there and I stayed there for like 10 minutes and decided to go back home because I was too scared for me. But I'm not saying don't go to Lapa, go to Lapa. Just don't go alone. Yeah. And... yeah for go. my gringos, go, go. for the gringos, go, go with a tour guide. Yeah. Eh, boa noche, eh, saudades, eh, bota fuegensi. Saudações. Oh, like, saudações. Saudações, like shout out. Okay, gracias, amigo. Shout Obrigado, out. amigo. <laughs> si, muito bem. Uh, but, <laughs> yeah, ladies and gentlemen, don't go to Lapa by yourself. Try to go with a tour guide or a friend or a local yeah. that knows because, trust me, Lapa, and you guys will see in my vlog. You guys are going to see in my vlog what happened to me in Lapa because Lapa was crazy. Like, to cut to the chase here, let's just say I bought a beer bucket, right? Because the girl was like, oh, you want a bucket? You want a bucket in yeah. Portuguese? I didn't really understand her all the way. So I was like, uh -huh. yeah, 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 whatever. So I had a beer bucket. There were at least 20 beers in there. Yeah. I was like, I've never seen another country that has a 24-pack in a bucket, in a big yeah. bucket. And I thought my friend was a beer drinker, so I thought he was going to help me out. And he doesn't drink beer, so I, I attempted to drink all of them by myself. And we were stuck there the whole night. I couldn't drink them. I drank five, six of them. I was already a little bit too tipsy. So I went up to the girl that was next to us, and I tried my very best to tell her to tell her in Portuguese, "Can you can you take this for me? Please take it for me. Take the bucket." Mm -hmm. Right. I tried to tell her that in Portuguese, but she got scared because she thought I was trying to like drug her or something uh -huh. so she got scared she's like, oh. like she's like get away yeah. from me so i was like oh okay i guess i'll keep it uh and then i told the girl can i take these like to go can i take the bucket and she's like uh -huh. see, see and then she came out with a big <laughs> garbage bag put all the beer in there with the ice and i carried the but the, the trash bag with me in the streets of lapa right and it kept dripping it was it was leaking because of the ice Okay. And that was my story of Lapo. Anyways, um, how many did you get to drink at the bar at the place? So I drank like eight beers. Eight? Okay. Eight nice amount. Out of 20, my 24 of them. Ten. Your max is 10. Oh, man, I have rookie numbers. I got to step it up. You know? <laughs> <laughs> no, but that's one thing about you, the, the, the Brasileños. Eh, eh, vocês, or how, how you say plural? Vocês? Like, vocês? Vocês? Mm -hmm. Eh, le gustan mucha cerveza, mucha yeah. cerveza. Sí. Beben cerveza todo el día. Bro, todo el día. <laughs> some people do drink beer every day. Some people. Sí, mucha. Y tiene que ser frío. Cold. It has to be cold. It must be chilly. It must isn't be there? Chilly. Isn't that a rule, Camila? Isn't that a rule that if your beer is not cold, they have to give you a new one? They have to. I heard that I heard a rumor that if your uh -huh. beer isn't cold enough, they have to give you a new one. Really? That's I what don't I know heard. about that. That's what I heard. I don't know how true that is. Well, you, well usually I always get um I don't drink beer anymore because you know Yeah, she's cleansed. I, I Ever since she went to right, Sao Paulo, right. she's a changed person. 
Yeah. Ya bebes café. Coffee. But anyways, uh, last time I drank the 10 beers, I was in a family gathering. Um, I was at this party and actually the girl who was throwing the party, I didn't know the girl, but I knew her grandmother, which was my grandma's friend and then became my friend. And her grandmother <laughs> invited me to the party and I was not willing to drink at all. And this 80 something year old woman would be like, drink one, drink one, just one, just one. And I had two, have two, have two, have two. I was like, no, I can't, have four. Just four, Camila, just four, have four. And I was like, four, enough, have seven, have seven. You have to drink seven, have it. Drink it, drink it. How can I disobey an old woman? Right? Wow. So I had 10 in the end because she set the score for me to have like 10 beers. She set the goal and I had it. So what was the prize? You being blackout drunk? <laughs> me being really sick. Honestly, yeah. I have to party. I've never partied with Brazilians before and I really want to do that the next time I go. It is fun. Because you guys are a lot of fun. I can tell, like, as soon as the funky came on, oh, my, the funky came on and people started going crazy. In that skip. <laughs> I'll skip that one. I don't twerk. Yeah, everyone's going crazy in there. I'm like, what? 